In the previous episode, we focused on recruiting mountain bandits as they go up to tier 5. Hussein the caravan master converted to a companion by getting many kills in a single battle. And we got caught by an enemy noble party with lots of cavalry. Had to sacrifice units to get away and rebuild. Let's wait here for a little bit, see if these guys drop off. They may just wait us out. Yeah, they are. They're going to wait us out. But they won't be able to catch us in the wooded area, so it's fine. Now, we might actually switch our location to the Force Bandit over here. So, I think taking out the, the Mountain Bandits is fine at this point. Nine of them is... I mean, it says we get a high balance of power here, but they've got some pretty decent units. I think it's mostly because we have high tier troops now. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's slow it down. Let's uh, F3, F5. We'll split off maybe three guys. So group 2. Group 1 is going to go wall formation. Uh, group 2 is going to stay back. Like, way back, so they don't aggro them. And actually, let's keep them on hold fire. Is Hussein in there? I can't tell if that's Hussein. Yeah, I think it is. No, it's a man of skirmish. Never mind. I was going to say we want to get our boy up in there, but we can't really control that just yet. All right, let's start the flank. Getting these boys ready. We just don't want them to aggro and start pulling over this way. Yeah, see, like this, they're starting to pull some people over here. Looks like it's just to throw projectiles, though. They're not actually coming this way. This guy might, but that's fine. We can take a 3v1, no problem. Oh, yeah, take him out. Show him the error of his ways. That's what I'm talking about. All right, over here. Quickly, quickly. Oh, there's like nobody left. <laughs> okay. Well, we tried to flank, but it doesn't help when the enemy dies so fast. Okay, that was a swing and a miss. <laughs> All right. You guys need a mace or something. Oh, there you go. The thrust attack will work. Nice. That actually worked pretty well. I think we should start doing that on a more frequent basis. And we did pick up two two prisoners here. And we can upgrade, or we can recruit a ruffian. We went as well. It doesn't cost us anything. This guy is horrible. Like, this is literally the, the looters, the base looters. And we can upgrade one of these guys. So we've got five of the mountain brigands now. Really, really good units with the eight javelins. Yeah, these guys do some damage. All right, we are actually starting to get overburdened here. Not because of the cow. Actually, we can slaughter the cow, and we can use that for meat. we got to get out of being overburdened. Here, let's see if we can get out of this. There we go. And let's not sell the cow. Let's actually cut them up. We'll get rid of the hides because those are really heavy. We'll get rid of all the salt. Yeah, I don't really feel like selling any of this stuff. So I feel like there's other things that are weighing us down. It's probably some of the gear. Uh, let's hang on to this masterwork. I think anything that's got really good stats we'll hang on to even if it's not that great of an item. I like this stuff's all junk. Most of this is junk. Let's just get rid of the cheaper stuff first because that's going to have higher volume. And we're still a little bit overburdened. Yeah, point, uh, 0.12. But we're still faster, so that's fine. We can we can deal with it. And actually, Hussein did level up. So he's level 2. And we got our first perk into athletics. Again, we're going to use the well-built. Give him a little bit more hit points. Especially with this mod. I, I can't stress how important it is to have the ability to not get killed. You, you die so fast. Really, really fast. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to do here. We are getting a little bit of polearm skill here. One-handed seems to be the preference. I do still think bow and riding are going to be the key, but we don't have the equipment for that yet, so uh, it's a tough one. Let's go ahead and put it into one-handed, because that seems to be the preference. I think that's okay. All right, if we can get away from this guy, that would be lovely. Yeah, he's still locked onto us, even though we're like a whole screen length away from him. Doesn't matter, he still wants it. Now, we could take out this group of 24. I think we can take these guys. Oh yeah, big time. All right, let's do it. This is going to be good money and good XP for us. Now, we don't want to be stupid about it. Let's... Let's go ahead and take a hill or something that we can have a little bit of a height advantage. All right, so we'll set up right here, and let's keep maybe three in the back. We're going to move three over. And unfortunately, we got one of the ruffians to move. We didn't want him in this party, but that's all right. Not much we can do about it. Let's throw our javelins before we get they get to us. We're probably not going to hit much. All right, we hit one guy. Two guys. All right, group two needs to go shield wall. Group one needs, or group two needs to get over here. Oh, actually, they're all splitting off here. This is bad. This is really bad. All right, we need to, we need to step it up here. Okay, this guy's gonna get surrounded. All right, so we actually dealt with that pretty easily. Let's, uh, let's go back over here and get this flank going. All right, get into position. Oh yeah, flank him with those javelins. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that looks so nasty when it just smacks him in the head. All right, let's move these guys in. These guys can come in on the flanks. Oh, they're going to run. We should have kept our donkey so we can chase them down. Can somebody have... Oh, get him, get him. Don't let him out. Oh, we're not going to upgrade right now. 
We'll give you bonus. Nope. They got one more shot. Nope. <laughs> I was going to say they have to throw it like at least at a 45 degree angle there. So we didn't lose anybody. That was pretty easy. So it seems like the ruffians are really, really bad units, which I mean, we kind of knew. Another upgrade. Bandit lackey. At least this guy's got a shield, but these guys are, are really not that good either. A lot of loot here. We're going to be overburdened again, aren't we? Let's... Let's see if we can get to town or a village. Yeah, this these guys have quite a bit of space here. So let's get rid of some stuff. I think nothing here that we need to keep. We're not overburdened at least, but let's get rid of as much stuff as we can. All right, so a thousand exactly. We're at 7,000 dinars. We're in very good shape as far as money goes. We just need to have a little bit more time to upgrade people and, and recruit. And actually, we hit Stuart 25. So this is pretty good here. I'm a little bit conflicted. Party wages is also obviously going to be very good. Recruitment cost is going to be completely useless, at least for the first, you know, 60 or 70% of the game. We have to get all of our people from, from prisoners. Consuming food 10% less is actually not too bad because the way that we have to get our food, we can't buy it. We have to loot it all. So the amount of time that we have to spend foraging and, and you know, picking people off is quite high, actually. I still think the party wages are, are the best, though. We'll, we'll stick to it. We'll stick to the guns. We can take in another ruffian. I think we'll keep picking on these these looters because we'll at least get prisoners above and beyond what we can afford to, to take into our party and then we can start donating these guys we're in a snowstorm in this one man it is this is a thick one all right we got our flanking party over here way off to the flank so we're gonna hide these guys out so they don't even see them it's the ai they'll probably you know see them anyways let's go shield wall with group one group two looks like they are starting to split off a few people for but that's fine we'll take them out pretty easily the javelins are falling a little bit short Let's help them out. And by help out, I mean we'll miss half of our shots. Alright, group two. Let's get group two involved. Oh, we lost somebody. That's not good. Alright, group two needs to come in and help out. Let's get... Oh, they're actually running. Wow, that was fast. Wow, a lot of them are running. There's only three left. Look at how many people ran. That's crazy. Well, not much we can do here. But I, I guess we could re-engage. I don't think it's going to be that helpful. Let's just take them out. We've got our, our valiant steed here to help us out. We can keep up with them. All right, that's it. So we did lose somebody. What did we lose? A uh, mountain brigand. That sucked. Somebody must have got a lucky hit on him. Only one survived. Yeah, we lost one of our top tier guys. Nothing you can do about it. It's part of the game. Yeah, we are quite overburdened. We need to start getting some mules or pack animals of some sort. That's what we really need to do. Oh, one guy got out. How did he get out? Let's go sell some stuff because we are overburdened and we cannot afford to get caught. Ooh, we can upgrade this guy's beard. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, the pitchfork needs to go. Yep, so all the weapons. I think it's mostly just going to be armor that's weighing us down a little bit. So let's get rid of most of this. Right, not too shabby. We got tactics level 25 doesn't really matter and we did hit level level eight with our main character so let's put we don't need another endurance we've got enough so let's stack the rest into intelligence uh, i'm really tempted to start pumping stuff into medicine too i think we need to yeah i really do i think we need to do that we catch this guy and the little battles like this uh, I, i'm just going to edit these out because this is just completely pointless to watch there's going to be no tactics involved. We're just going to smash them and move on. Wow, this one mountain brigand got three kills all on his own. And there's only five people here, so he did a really good job. But we're not going to upgrade. Take one prisoner. Ooh, we got a two-handed axe. We'll probably want to save that. That seems like it'd be a good thing to hang, hang on to. Maybe not yet, but in the future, we'll, we'll be taking people that'll probably be able to use it. And let's go hang out in the hideout. We do have the movement speed penalty. I don't know if we should keep these these terrible ones. We could just start boosting up. Oh, that's a tough one. I, I think we'll hang on to them. But yeah, I don't think we should do it yet. We, we're not max party size yet. If we get caught again by one of those small groups that have a ton of cav, we're going to have to sacrifice troops. And if we have a bunch of low tier on us, that's going to help at least lessen the pain, you know? But we could give away some stuff too. I mean, we, we're not really hurting for cash. So doing this doesn't really affect us too much. There's nothing in here that we really need to keep. So let's let's try it. And let's for sure keep the Sparth Axe. Yeah, that's that's going to be a good two-hander. All right, what does that do for 36 strength? That's basically nothing. So that was kind of pointless. We should have just sold it. I think we'll just give prisoners. I don't think giving items are as, quite as good as giving the prisoners away. All right, let's go scout. I think what we should probably do is we've got a few more prisoners to recruit. Let's pick on some peasants. We don't want to get picked on by this guy, though. Uh, I think he's, he's on to us. 
you know, for some reason, once in a while you get like an enemy noble that locks onto you and then there'll be another one that walks right by you and just completely ignores you. Like this guy doesn't want anything to do with us. That other guy, he'll chase us more than halfway across the map, even though we're way faster than him. Here we go. Oh, we want to catch him. Don't go in. No, he's going to go in. Oh, man. Yeah, we want to take those. But at the very least, what we can do is maybe take out the peasants. I don't want to go near because they do have a, a group of 48 in there. Yeah, he's going to come right after us. Oh, and he's fast. Wow. Only thing that saved us is the woods. Yeah, we need to not do that. Right, we can we can wait a little bit. Let's see if those peasants come back. Right, let's scare them into the woods. Once they go into the woods, they're ours. They stay in the open area, kind of hit or miss whether we can catch them or not. But this should be pretty easy. Oh, they're fast, actually. Yeah, we have to, we have to take them in the woods. Otherwise, we're not going to catch them. And they don't want to give up their gear. We wouldn't really let them anyways. We want to fight this. We're looking for prisoners. We're not looking for equipment. And what we'll do, let's split these guys into two groups. And it looks like group two has the higher tier units. So we'll, we'll spend a little more time focusing on group one, flanking and trying to maybe draw their, their units over here. All right, let them lose, boys. Right, let's move back a little bit. Yeah, as they get closer, these guys should be able to get more accurate shots on them. All right, this looks good. Let's go shield wall. We'll go shield wall with both. Yeah, look at it, they're split. So this should be pretty easy, actually. That will help out a little bit. All right, so they're running. We don't want anybody getting away. Oh, what a hit. But we're not upgrading anybody just yet. Oh, KS, man. We got KS. Hey, can they get this guy? No, nobody's, nobody's aiming. And we got two citizens. Nice. We got two people that we can take prisoner and donate. And we did lose one ruffian. Not a problem. Those guys are expendable. Yeah, we got two more in the wings just waiting to come in. Oh, nice. We picked up another mule. We could give that to Hussein. I don't know that we're going to do that, though. We have been struggling a bit with capacity, like inventory capacity. So I think it's probably better to hang on to it. Now, Leone, Leone Pardis is now holding a stronger grudge against you. So probably because we took out their peasant. I mean, if they had horses and just gave us the horses, we wouldn't have had to kill him. But, you know, we didn't really have an option there. Right, Hussein did hit level three, it looks like. He's getting some work in with that polearm, too. That that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's, let's put it into polearm. Now, we got to keep an eye. When these villagers pop in again, we can probably take them out. Ooh, a small party, but they probably have high tier. Yeah, the Huskarl are really good. Yeah, we don't want to mess with that. They've got some really high tier units in there. Now, Zestea has hogs. We can probably take them out. Not so much for the hogs. I mean, we do need some meat, but more importantly, we want to get butter and cheese. And usually all the animal farms have that. We'll take these guys out. Yeah, they don't want to give it up. We'll just take it from them. Here we go again. Two groups. Which I kind of like them being a little bit closer to each other. Just in case they decide to load up. Yeah, see like on this, they're starting to load up on this right side a little bit more. So we can push our right flank forward more. Let's make sure these guys don't get... Oh, man. Yeah, see, he's getting dunked on. We don't want to lose high tier for stupid things. Oh, we just lost somebody. <laughs> Let's help them clean up. They get a couple guys trying to get away. We'll chase them down. Hopefully. Oh, uh, maybe not. Actually, it's probably better to get away. We can get more gear from them. And we lost another ruffian. Wow. I'm seeing a pattern here. Now, we're not going to recruit the, the citizens because, again, I, we could technically use them because they can be considered meat shield. And we can't upgrade them or anything, but we could use them. We're just going to donate them to the hideout when we get enough of them. But I think for now, we'll just hang on to them. We got another mule. We got some... Whoa, that's a lot of hogs. Full hogs. And like I said, we get butter and cheese from them. So it's it's actually quite good to do that. Two left. Can we catch them? Oh, man. I don't know how that didn't register. We were right on them. Well, they'll come back. Let's go check on our stud farm that we want to raid. Yeah, they got their peasants back, so once they get enough gear, then they'll they'll be um, heading to the town to drop it off. So we can probably just hang out somewhere in this area. Get a little bit of scouting XP. All right, back up to twenty. We got room for seven more, but again, we're not going to convert these citizens because we, we're not be we're not going to be using regular troops. Yeah, see, these guys do upgrade through regular troops, so we don't want that. Now, these looters, let's take them out while we're waiting. No losses, only one prisoner, unfortunately, but at least we'll get some drops out of this. Yeah, a little bit of loot. And let's make sure that we're ready as soon as these guys come out. Oh, no, okay, I was going to say, I thought he was going after Nope, he is going after us. <laughs> Look way he wasn't, now he's coming. And the annoyances begin. Okay, he actually backed off pretty quickly there. I'm kind of surprised. Now, one thing we can do to entice them to come out is we can go in and sell them some stuff. 
that's going to kind of force them to come out earlier than they would normally do. Let's actually chop up a few of these hogs. We don't want to do too much because we don't have a herding penalty, so we can handle some animals. It's not a big deal. Yeah, so that might entice them to come out because they're going to have a lot of stuff that they can sell. And so the AI tells them to go drop it off. Maybe we didn't sell enough high value stuff. That's fine. Let's take out a looter party again while we're waiting. Now we got three prisoners off of this one. That's actually pretty good. Didn't lose anybody. And we can start upgrading these ruffians. Wow, these throwing daggers look expensive. I don't know if they're going to stay that expensive, but uh, they're, they're definitely not worth it. We don't have any throwing skill. I guess we could keep it on the civilian loadout just in case we do some in the future, but I don't know. It probably doesn't really matter. Now, one thing I noticed, Hussein was on a mule. Let's not have him do that. So let's lock that out for now. Yeah, we want to keep that donkey for storage space more than anything else. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe it's not a bad idea because it, it will give us a little boost in movement speed. Not really. Yeah, it gives us like a 0.1 increase. I, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's just keep them on foot, to be honest. It's Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is our chance. All right, this is like uh, the Wild Wild West, right? <laughs> You're watching that train to go by. You set up your ambush. I right, get him. Don't let him out. This this is the one that we can't. We can take a risk taking these guys out. We really need mounts. We're so slow right now. Look, we can't even catch these guys. We're going to chase them halfway across the map. Now, wooded areas, we can catch up. Oh, man, this is tough. We're going real deep into enemy territory here. Luckily, there's no nobles in this area, though. We, we've got pretty fortunate. All right, so he made a wrong turn. We're going to catch him here. This is where... Oh, don't stop. Don't... Uh, Lucan's going to come in, isn't he? Oh, man, you got to be kidding me. We chased him all that way. It started again. All right. This is a really bad spot for us, by the way. We don't want to be in here. If somebody comes from the other direction, we could be screwed. All right, this is the longest chase in Bannerlord history. <laughs> This is like what the AI does to us. I guess it's just a little bit of payback. Yeah, man, you've got mount. I know they have mounts. That's why they're moving so fast. Normally, they'd be moving at 4.9. So they've, they've got... This is going to be worth it once we finally get it. I don't mind chasing them to the end of the world. That's fine. We'll do it. We will chase and chase until there's no more left. All right, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. There's loop. They're going to loop back around into the forest. There's a lot of forests up here in the Sturgeon areas. Yeah, we, we can gain ground. The problem is once we get close, if they go near an enemy group, then we're kind of hosed. All right, so let's maybe be a little bit more strategic about which way we're chasing them. Maybe we can chase them to a direction that puts them in a like a back corner. Oh man, well, we're done. Yeah, we can't really chase that anymore. We're going to have to loop back around. Wait, that's not going to work. Oh no, we're going to have to... Yeah, they're faster than us. We have to get to woods immediately. There's nothing around. This is probably the closest. We have to go north. He's going to catch us first. Ah, that is so annoying. Yeah, we have to sacrifice 13 troops. Holy, why so many? We have higher tactics now than we did last time. All that hard work. Yep, we just lost 13 troops. All right, and we're probably overburdened. No, we just have a ton of prisoners. I guess uh, we should have probably gotten rid of our prisoners. Look at that. We have nobody left. All right, well, that's fine. We'll keep moving. Uh, let's just get out of danger and then we'll regroup. All right, let's uh let's take out some of these smaller parties yeah i don't know if we're gonna convert ruffians anymore we should probably just donate them i don't know that's really worth it these guys are so bad yeah we can start building up the power base here so where are we supposed to be at i think it's over here yeah let's go back to near the like run area all right we are getting into really hot water here because if we get surrounded we'll have nowhere to run yeah which is start everybody's chasing us now like literally their entire kingdom is chasing a, a group of 11 bandits oh man i wish there was a mod that changed the ai behavior because it just doesn't make sense like they automatically target the the player even if the player's not even a threat like i don't understand why they do that all right let's keep working our way east Hopefully we can get back to some safer areas where we're not really in danger of getting captured like that. That was, I get, we chased them too long. It was definitely my mistake, but there's some things that probably the game should probably do a little bit better, but it's fine. I knew better. All right, here we go. We're getting chased again. Lovely. We should probably pick some fights with these mountain bandits and get a few more of those mountain troops. Yeah, like this, this group of six, but not with 103 right next to them. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, we're, we're losing a lot of money too because we, we haven't been able to fight. We haven't been able to do anything lately. Uh, there's a group of two here. We could take that out. Oh, there. <laughs> Wait, did they finally make it? Maybe they didn't make it yet. They finally just got back here. So we, we both got back at roughly the same time. But yeah, for sure. We're taking these guys, uh, taking our frustration out on these guys. Yeah, we're, we're taking everything you got. All right, here, here they come. Let's circle around. We should be able to get a few picks before they reach our line. Okay, they're kind of ignoring us. That's fine. They definitely can't ignore this giant spear going in the back of their head, though. We don't want them to retreat. We'll probably leave one person alive so we can maybe recapture him again. Oh, good hit. 
All right, are they still throwing? Yeah, they're still throwing. Look at those shots, man. Those guys have an arm. Right, one guy left. We'll leave it. Here we go. We got it. We got two. Yeah, we got two mounts that we can use. Now, we are probably going to give ourselves one. The Midlands Palfrey, and at some point we can take the Kentarian Charger, but we need to get a little bit more riding skill. We picked up a few more mules, so I don't think I don't think that's going to be an issue for us. Now, are we hurting penalty? No, we're not. We do have some hogs we got to be careful of. Dude, let's cut some up so we can get more meat. Yeah, there's one guy left. If we can catch this guy, he's going to give up a lot of loot. Oh, we're getting chased again. Uh, you know what we'll do? Let's let's give Hussein a mount. I, this is just crazy. Now, he can take the Kentarian Charger. No, let's give him a mule. Yeah, that'll give us speed, and we'll still have this one for one of our mounted, one of our foot troops to ride. Actually, we should probably do that for a guy too, right? That's going to give us even more movement speed. Yeah, 5.2. Beautiful. Actually, that's a good idea. All right, let's just try and play smart here. There's one little villager here. He's got some horses on him. Let's take him out. Oh, he's faster than us still. Holy cow. Uh, we're not going to make that. However, he's going to come back, and we can take him again. Yeah, we don't want him going back home. We don't want Regea chasing us either, because this is just silly. All right, come on. Take him, take him, take him. Nice. Oh, he's gonna make us fight. We'll just send it in. Yeah, look at that. We got another. Actually, no, these are pack animals. That's fine. We don't. We still don't have disorganized state penalty, so we're we're in good shape here. Yeah, we need to keep our movement speed as high as we can get it. And let's head up to the hideout. We'll just give away all the stuff that we can. We need to get that up. And we're not going to be fighting any of these uh, force bandits. We want to make sure that we can keep them keep their strength going. So let's give away prisoners. We don't want any of these guys. We don't want any of that. We don't even want the ruffian, but we can't donate them. We have to have at least five. All right, we need one more. We can give away some stuff. Well, I guess we'll just give everything we got. That puts them up to 90. That's not too bad. We need a thousand strength to build a safe house. So let's just start working on that. That's going to make a pretty big difference for us, I think. Yeah, we don't want to mess with the forest bandits. Uh, what's the saying? You don't poop where you eat. But let's not do that. Yeah, Regea with the massive lumbering army is going to keep chasing us in circles. That's fine. All right, let's take these group of 10 out. All right, Hussein, let's go ahead and give him the charge command. And we're just going to help this right, this left, our left flank. Oh, he's going to get flanked. Okay, we don't want our guys to get, get flanked here. All right, I don't think we lost anybody. I think we're in good shape. Ha <laughs> ha. Knock him to the floor. Yeah, we could upgrade. We're, we really need these mountain brigands. These guys are the only reason we're getting kills in these battles. So let's let's hold off. If it was something stupid like uh, maybe one of our ruffians, for sure we would do it. But I think right now we'll just keep them. And we got two prisoners. That's fine. Now, the ruffian we're probably not going to keep. The foot pad we might want to keep. It's still not great, but not terrible, right? This guy's once he upgrades to tier four, he's actually got some decent stats. And we got level 50 riding on Amir Timur. So let's go ahead and take... I do like Welsh Drop more because this one gives you plus 20% hit points. This one reduces the chance of, of getting lame, but I'd rather them not fall in the battle to begin with. So, and mounted troops. Yeah, mounts of, of commanded troops get have more hit points too, so that helps. And man, I can't believe how fast our scouting is going. Now, we could take Tracker or Ranger. Tracker gives us a little bit more movement speed when we're chasing people. Ranger will help us spot tracks better, so it, it, it actually levels your scouting up a little faster. But I think with 10 cunning, I don't think we have to worry about it too much. So let's just go Tracker. And then we got two roguery levels, actually. I didn't realize we got... Maybe it's because we raided the, the villagers. That's probably why. So notables and villages give extra troops. That's not going to help us. Villages in your clan recover 20% faster. We're not going to own fiefs for quite a while if we ever do get to that point. And then know-how, defeated villagers or caravans give more access to the inventory. For sure, we're going to go that because we're going to be doing a ton of raiding. And the next one, bandit troops in your party consume less food and they also recruit faster or better deals and increased prisoner limit. 100% promises the way to go. We're going to be using a lot of bandit troops, especially in the beginning. We're going to have to convert all of them. So this is going to help a lot. And consuming less food is really, really, really good for us. Yeah, we're, we're going to take very, very big advantage of that. Now we've got two more to spend, two focus points. It's, it's going to go into Stewart and Medicine, one of each or two and one. I'm not sure which one actually. I think what we'll do is just level up Stuart first. This one's really taken off pretty fast because we've got more troops in our party now. So I think that one's the faster we get this, the I think the easier it is going to be to level up medicine later anyway. So that, that's fine. I think we'll do that. Now we got to not get captured. Let's loop back around, head back up to the, the hideout. Yeah, see, they got a lot of stud farms down here. So we're going to want to pick these guys off quite frequently and see if we can get up to that point where we can outrun pretty much anybody. 
All right, prisoners. We're getting rid of ruffians and citizens. That's going to give up to 120, so pretty slow going, but that's fine. We've got enough money. We don't have to worry about it. Let's give away some stuff. 153, not too bad. We should probably go back down and start working on those those mounts. Let's see if we can raid the villagers again. All right, Kantarian. They still have the peasants in there, so let's just hang out for a little bit. Yeah, and these guys are just so annoying, man. Look at that. They're still chasing. That's fine. At the very least, we're getting... Look at that. We're getting all these uh, track spotting. Let's just make sure we're faster than anybody that's chasing us. We are. Ooh, Kantarian. So we need to chase this guy out. Oh, uh, he's not going to run because he's getting reinforcements there, so he doesn't need to run. Yeah, so we're going to miss that cycle. Let's get out of here. Maybe let's go further north. I know there's another stud farm up here. Yeah, Orthra and Vealos. We can go try and pick off some of those. And we'll take some prisoners along the way. Got a foot pad out of that one. Yeah, we'll take two. Actually, these guys can start converting too, so that'll help. Yeah, Roguery is coming in nicely. 120. It's going to help because we do get more loot from it from battles as that levels up. And that's really the only way we make money, at least in the early game. You know, we do have Fubri on, so that'll help a bit as well. Ooh, Step Bandits. We haven't seen them yet. Yeah, we could take them on at some point, but let's uh, let's focus on these villages. So Orfra looks like they sent their villages already. The villages of Vareos, what are they doing? They're trying to return, so it doesn't look like they have any horses on them. Let's keep an eye on them, see what they're doing. Yeah, see, they want to go back and pick up their stuff, but Destor of the Embers, oh, he's fast. He's really fast. Okay, we don't want to mess with them. Yeah, let's, let's stay away. There's just people everywhere. Yeah, we need to get a big enough party to where we don't have to run from those guys, but we're still small enough to outrun the bigger parties that can destroy us. So we'll, we'll get there at some point. Ooh, here we go. Sea Raiders. Haven't seen them yet. Let's get back into Shield Wall. These guys are getting picked off pretty easily. I think the quality of our troops is just too much for a lot of these these parties. I mean, they do have some low-tier troops in here, too, so that, you know, those guys are basically just useless. Let's let them get the kills. Ooh. That guy's got some gear. Hopefully he drops his loot. I'd love to have that helmet. Oh, wow, we killed all the Sea Raiders. That's unfortunate, but we did pick up a couple of these other guys. We can take another foot pad, so we're, we're working our way back up. Like I said... There's going to be a lot of ups and downs in this one. It's it's definitely not all going to be pretty, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, I keep swatching the horse. I could probably just lock these guys in, right? Let's just lock them. Yeah, it wants to keep swapping them out. Understandable, they are upgrades, so I don't I don't blame them for that. Now, what else do we have? This axe looks pretty decent, but I don't think we want to swap it out. Hussein's actually got a decent loadout right now. I think we'll just leave him be. Now, force bandits are getting stronger. I think that's because we take out the other bandits. Right, let's let's keep tabs on Orthra. Oh, this is not good. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Move, 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 move. Oh, that's so close. We're just barely faster than him, too. We almost got caught there. All right, let's, uh, let's go scurry back to our home. Go back to our safe house. I'm going to have nightmares of that, man. Having to lose half of our army just because we got a little bit of a, a movement penalty. I don't think we have enough. No, but we can give away some stuff, at least. Yeah, look at that. 1,600. It's probably not even that good, but it'll it'll be useful for us. Because we can donate it right now, and that's going to give us a lot of power with these guys. Yeah, 216, so we're getting there. 20% of the way there. There's a group of 26 looters here. We could probably take them out. And already scouting, 150. This is crazy. Fighting bandits having a higher morale, probably not the most useful thing, because we're going to be destroying these bandits without any perks. Mounted scouts does give us party size increase, so that's helpful. And then if we get to the point where we're mostly cav, it'll give us a little bit of bonus to the sight range, so that's fine. I know we took the force kin at, at one point, so we could reset that perk if we really want to, but I think for now we'll leave it because we're going to be mostly on foot. So yeah, I know they're kind of contradictory, but trust me, it all makes sense in the end. <laughs> all right, let's, let's get these, this big group of looters. This is going to be big for us if we can take them out. What we should do, let's try and move back to a spot Oh, man. I was going to say somewhere where we won't get surrounded completely, but it's going to be kind of hard to do. Yeah, I think this little hill right here should be fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Let's dismount this guy. And hopefully we can get enough javelins off to thin their, their numbers, because they do have a pretty big numbers advantage. Oh. How dare you hit the donkey. Right, here we go. We can help a little bit. Not if we miss all our shots. There we go. We're gonna. Oh, they're hitting our horse, our uh, 
or don't be or we need we're gonna need to get in involved in this one because for sure we're gonna lose troops if we don't all right we're stabbing them pretty easily fortunately the ai doesn't really react to us too well they get a little tunnel vision we lost somebody there looks like it was just an injury though and we can get a pretty easy flank here all right they're running oh we took a hit Let's take this guy out. They can clean those guys up. Yeah, I think fighting those big looter groups is going to be beneficial because we're going to get really good renown from that. Uh, we're not taking... Oh, look at that. Nine kills. One of our units got nine kills. That's insane. That's more than we got. Guarantee it. Yeah, look at that. So we got seven kills. That guy got nine. Good for him. Well, at least we know it won't be hard to get companions when we get to that point where we, we want a bunch of them. So we get rid of our last ruffian and we can go hurler or foot pad. We've already got a foot pad. He's got throwing daggers. This guy has... What the heck? <laughs> Who set up these guys? This is crazy. He's got one set of pine javelins, one set of throwing axes, one set of throwing knives. That is really bizarre. The ja javelinier has pine javelins, so he's not really that great. I think we're probably better off going down the brigand route, so foot pad it is. Ooh, actually we hit... Uh, before we go to there, let's actually upgrade some stuff. We've got a nice helmet finally, and Hussein got a better helmet as well. Now we did hit clan tier one. Nice. Look at that. And it only took us a little over a year, <laughs> which normally would be very, very slow. But for this type of a challenge, it's actually not too bad. Yeah, sometimes I, I know when I've done this before, it's taken me close to a year or more just to get my weapon, the first weapon. You just get passed around, getting captured and all that. So this is actually a pretty smooth campaign so far. I I'm really enjoying it. Uh, let's pump up Stuart. So we got level 11 with Amir. Actually, I guess the correct term would be Timur. Yeah, Amir is more like a um, like a title, not really his name. His name was Timur. And Hussein is close to, to level 4. He's actually doing okay on his own. I don't mind the slower progression if we're going to be spam, spamming him out quite a bit. I mean, you can see how many times we, we have the offer to, to upgrade these guys. So it's, it's really not a big deal.